a very warm welcome to everybody this uh, morning. It's a lovely morning here in Bangalore. I hope it's a lovely morning wherever you are. Uh, to start with a quick prayer, Om Shri Narayana Parama Gurave Namaha. Uh, our speaker today is Mr. Dilip Kumar P.I., who is a multifaceted personality, a renowned figure in the hospitality industry, as well as a speaker on the philosophy of Guru Narayana, being blessed by Guru Nataraja at an early age. He's currently the CEO of Kochi-based Intimis Hospitalities Private Limited. He's been with the hospitality industry for the past three decades and held senior positions with leading organizations like ITDC, Le Meridian, Starwood, the Oberoi Group, IHG, and the Leela Group. Till recently, he was the general manager of the iconic beach resort of Kerala, the Leela Kovala. Dilip is a chemistry graduate from University College Trivandrum an MBA from KUSAT, which is Cochin University of Science and Technology. He went abroad with a scholarship to do higher studies in hospitality management at the famous Institute of Tourism and Hotel Management in Salzburg, Austria. He's at present a member of the Kerala State Tourism Advisory Board. He's a member in the curriculum committee of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technology University and Board of Governors of Institute of Hotel Management Kovalam under Ministry of Tourism. Dilip had the good fortune of having the darshan of the mystic Guru Nataraja at the age of five. From a very young age, he started attending the discourses and classes of Guru Nitya Chaitanya Yati and Guru Muni Narayana Prasad. He is part of the Yellow Fellowship of Narayana Gurukula Varkala. Dilip currently lives in Kochi with his wife Chitra, son Agnayan, and daughter Dakshina. So I think that is. He's very, very impressive CV. I'm sure actually a lot of you will already know him. And uh, I have requested you, sir, to unmute. You might need to press a button to unmute on your... Ah, perfect. So welcome, sir. Over to you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Om Shanti 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 Om Sahana Babatu Sahana o Hunaktu Sahaviriam Karava Bahai Tejaswina Vati Tamastu Ma Vidyusha Bahai Om Shanti 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 <clears throat> my pranams to the Guru Parampara. Guru Parampara ke in the Vinita Pranama. We are all here, joined this group or in the Zoom meeting to understand and study more about Narayana Guru. <clears throat> I am so happy to see nowadays a lot of people are showing keen interest in understanding and studying the works of Narayana Guru. That is a very, very positive development which is happening in the society. This Guru Anugraham group is also such a fraternity of uh, seekers who are very keen in understanding the philosophy and uh, teachings of Narayana Guru in a deeper sense. <clears throat> there are so many books are being published on his biography as well as commentaries on his works. If you go to any international book fair in Kerala, you will find a separate section for Narayana Guru's works. Those are all hot sellers. But when you look at the content, there are questions. 
so many newcomers are writing this book that is very good actually his philosophy should spread his teaching should spread his thoughts should spread in the masses <clears throat> but at the same time we should also ensure that the right message is being spread across <clears throat> as a student of narayana guru and his teachings and philosophy i have encou encountered many roadblocks <clears throat> in understanding his philosophy so today i will be basically sharing my experiences uh, and i will also talk about the major roadblocks and how we can handle such roadblocks so the my aim of this speech or talk is to uncomplicate or simplify the studies of narayana guru and his teachings <clears throat> when we talk about the roadblock the first roadblock come in front of me is his language guru's language sorry i am using his in english i try to use guru everywhere <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> guru had absolute command over three languages sanskrit malayalam and tamil sanskrit language he studied in the traditional way of gurukula sampradaya initially he studied from his uncle later he went to kumamballi ramamballi asan of kayangulam and he stayed at the varanapalli taravada and he did the higher studies in sanskrit malayalam of course his mother tongue guru's mother tongue tamil uh, we don't know uh, about any formal education on tamil he has undergone but from the biographers we know that he spent some time in a tamil book stall in chalai bazar as an avaduda also he has traveled extensively in tamil nadu he got attracted to the uh saiva siddhanta especially the works of the nainas <clears throat> so these three languages he had absolute command but he was not like a normal poet when we, when we talk about language again he, we we are lucky uh, that we have a guru he has written all his thoughts all his uh, teachings and all his um all 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 that he wanted to communicate to the society he has written in his own um writings own language many great personalities including sri buddha we could not get any of their original writings that way we are blessed we are a blessed society currently we could find out around 60 works of narayana guru out of which three are essays otherwise 95% are poems so poems generally understanding poems are a difficult task for the common people <clears throat> even when we study poems in uh, university or school we need support of guides or teachers to understand many words those are coined by the spites <clears throat> narayana guru was not a normal poet he was a rishi meaning of rishi is satyate darshichavan the person who has seen the truth so a person who has seen the truth and he is recording that experience in the way of poems understanding of the same by the common people it is little difficult when we look at our treasure of philosophy indian philosophy you will find most of these treasures are recorded as poetries poems 
starting from the adigavya <clears throat> when uh, bhagavan sri krishna wanted to give his most important advice to arjuna what he did <clears throat> he started singing <clears throat> that's why it is called bhagavad gita song of the god <clears throat> even during bhakti prasthana people like elthachan he wrote kili part <clears throat> but those were aiming at very common people <clears throat> so elthachan's works like adhyatma ramayana and all any layman can understand except some places like <clears throat> chakshutsravanagalasthamam darduram pakshanatin abhechikunnadu pole that time maybe you have to refer something otherwise the other day dr vasan said onnaya ninna iha randannu kandalavil undayal undaya or indal so in harinama kirtana we will also have that indal to understand that otherwise those were very 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 focused on the common uh, people's understanding levels Maybe Kunjan Nambiar was an exceptional uh, poet. He, 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 his poems were written seeing illiterate people sitting in front of him and watching the Tulal. <clears throat> he openly declared that, his policy. Vadivu yannuru charu kerala bhasha tanne chidam varu. He know that. if you write in that particular language only people will understand he has gone beyond and said chirikkuna katha ketal irikkum allaigil tirikkum so he used a satire to un- attract the common people to understand it <clears throat> but narayana guru was totally different i told you he was a irshi and a kavi <clears throat> so what are the distinctions narayana guru has got we know narayana guru's works especially the philosophical works are equivalent or sometimes above the level of shrudis shrudis are the ultimate truth so we should understand the difference between the shruti and smruti so again i have mentioned in the beginning there are a lot of books are coming in the name of narayana guru but many of the authors are not aware of this differentiation <clears throat> now during the covid period many people are quoting guru varuls <clears throat> guru talked about sujitwa cleanliness guru talked about Uh, the conducting of marriage guru talked about conducting of funerals so these are all they are quoting a text called narayana smruti <clears throat> it is not a text or a book authored by guru <clears throat> i told you guru is a shruti karta who wrote shruti devadashagam is a shruti it is upanishad saram <coughs> atmopadeshadagam is shruti darshanamala is shruti advaita deepika is shruti <coughs> a shruti karta cannot become a smartakaran <coughs> smartakaran means who writes smrutis we know manu smruti yajna valkya smruti so that's why people are saying that we have to burn that particular book the smrutis are written based on a particular place and a particular period which is relevant only for that particular place and the particular period after some times after thousands of years it may not be relevant but unfortunately people are insisting that that is still relevant but shrutis are not like that 
whatever written in an Upanishad or Vedanta, 3000 or 3500 years back are still relevant. There is no change possible. Those are ultimate truths came out of the mouth of great sages. But smritis are like our constitution. It should be amended according to the time and place. <clears throat> so when the disciples of Narayana Guru approached him to write something on his dharma, he refused to do that. Then they persuaded him that this kind of things should be documented. Then he instructed his disciple Atmananda Swamigal. <clears throat> Atmananda Swamigal was the first uh, Mukhya Ajarya of Sanskrit school in Advaita Ashrama Aluva. He was a great uh, Sanskrit scholar. <clears throat> he used to be called Valya Gurukal. Even Guru, Guru, Guru himself he used to call him Gurukal. <clears throat> Later, he, uh, Guru has given Sanyasa Diksha and he become Atmananda. <clears throat> he has written this uh, Narayana Smriti or it is called Dharma. From Shivagiri uh, Dharma Sangam Trust, they published in the name of Dharma. And uh, in, uh, from Narayana Guru Gula, it is published in the name of Narayana Smriti. So now widely that text is quoted as Guru's original text. <clears throat> So these are some of the mistakes commonly we could see. <clears throat> and I told you, Guru is a Sruti Kartal. Similarly, he is also a Sutra Gara. Around 2000 years back, Sage Badarayana, he wrote Br Brahma Sutra. <clears throat> Brahma Sutra is a very important book. It is part of the Prasthanatraya. Prasthanatraya we call Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita and Brahma Sutra. <clears throat> so many sages later, Badarayana has written commentaries, Bhashya, etc. for Brahma Sutra. But only Narayana Guru after 2000 years dare to write another sutra called Vedanta Sutra. So his level is totally different. Even Shankara Bhagavad father did not uh, write a separate sutra. <clears throat> he wrote Bhashyam for Badarayana's Brahma Sutra. After studying Badarayana's Brahma Sutra and different Bhashyams and other things, what is missing, what is what need to be added. So Narayana Guru thought now it is the time to write another sutra. He wrote Vedanta Sutra. So a sutra garden, Irshi, and he has written uh, maybe uh, a, a mantra. That writing a mantra only Maharshi can do that. He wrote Oma Mantra. So he is a Maharshi, he is a Sutragaran, he is a Irshi, he is a Srudhikartav. <clears throat> so his level is totally different. So naturally his language also will be different. So understanding his language, the Klishta Bhasha, the difficult the language, we have to take some precautions. Otherwise, the complete meaning will go haywire. <clears throat> I'll give you one small example. <clears throat> His uh, famous Totra Prudhi, Janani Navaratna Manjari, is a beautiful uh, uh, work. It was written during the Pradishta or uh, consecration of Shivagri Sharadamat. <clears throat> it starts like this. Unnaya mamadil ninna ilam tripudi vanna sutan madi maran anna de il priyamuyar nadalam kadalil unna ivi 
എന്നാശയം ഗതി പെറും നാദഭൂമിയിലമർന്നാവിരാപടരും ചിന്നാഭിയിൽ ത്രിപുടി എന്നാണറും പടി കലർന്നാടിടുന്നു ജനനി ഡോക്ടർ കവിയൂർ സി കെ രേവമ ഹാസ് സങ് ദി സോങ് സോ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുള്ളി by hearing revamma sometimes she will get goosebumps like when she talk sing ullakha bodha janani he nadakam nikilavum etc <clears throat> a famous poet is very very popular in uh, malayalam he made a separate path by singing his own songs in a beautiful um, way he has recited this janani navaratna manjari <clears throat> you see the difference unnaya mamadil ninnailam tribudi vanna sutan madi maran annadil priyamuyarnam kadalil annadil <clears throat> that is a correct way annadi means the material things the food and other material words when you get interest in these kind of things that is the meaning but when you replace annadil with annadil that means very long back the entire meaning is different so similarly ആഴിയും തിരയും കാറ്റും ആഴവും പോലെ ഞങ്ങളും മായയും നിന്മഹിമയും നീയുമെന്ന് ഉള്ളിലാകണം മെനി പീപ്പിൾ സിങ് ലൈക്ക് നീയും എന്നുള്ളിലാകണം ടോട്ടലി ഡിഫറെന്റ് മീനിങ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ദർ ആർ സോ മെനി സച്ച് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് വി ക്യാൻ സൈറ്റ് because guru has chosen his words very very carefully you know guru again dare to translate ishavasya upanishad into malayalam no other person will dare to do that the first words of ishavasya upanishad ishavasya midam sarvam yatkinja jagatyam jagat ഭാഷ്യ <coughs> <coughs> because he has written it so simple way ishan jagatil ellam avasikkunnadu kondu nee charikya muktanaya shikkaru daarudeyum dhanam very simple language any layman can understand but even after hearing this one of his disciple had a doubt he asked the guru guru we need dhanam or financial means to live but here you are saying that you should not desire for it <laughs> so guru said i said very clearly ആശിക്കരുത് ആരുടെയും ധനം യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് യുവർ ഓൺ ധനം ബട്ട് ഡോണ്ട് ഐ ഓൺ അതേഴ്സ് ധനം ഗുരു മെനി പ്ലേസസ് സെറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് കളങ്കരഹിതമായ ധനം വിതൗട്ട് എനി സ്റ്റെയിൻസ് യു ക്യാൻ അക്വയർ വെൽത്ത് സോ ഗുരു ഹാസ് ചോസൺ വെരി ഹിസ് വേർഡ്സ് വെരി വെരി കെയർഫുള്ളി so such words when we study we should understand his own original thinking 
so that is one of the biggest challenge uh, we face uh, when we when we study guru <clears throat> and guru uh, even his writing style was very very interesting this janani navaratna manjari i just mentioned he has written that nine verses while taking bath while taking bath he called one of his disciple to bring a paper and pencil and he did dictated guru used to dictate his poems to disciples so you should understand uh, the kind of caliber the disciples also were having <clears throat> guru was actually blessed with uh, able people surrounding him when you look at his social sphere he had the best the dream team you can imagine <clears throat> dr palpu mahagavi kumar nashan tk madhavan sahodaran ayyappan midavadi krishnan ck seven you name it those were all stalwarts in their own fields so guru you know even in his social i am not going to speak much about his social interventions but in the social interventions also he never conducted any satyagraha by himself he never conducted any big uh, rally or meeting or uh, jada by himself he was giving the theoretical and philosophical background for every such moments he did so many revolutionary things first of, of course the installation of shiva idol in adivipuram that was the biggest revolution ever happened in india or this part of the world <clears throat> but otherwise he never involved directly in any of these social reform movements he was giving directions to his disciples they were able people and they were doing it perfectly that's why that moment become a successful thing <clears throat> similarly he had able uh, disciples at his ashram <clears throat> sanyasis so when you read about uh, the background of many of his poems there are notes like this is dictated to vidyananda swami for example uh, his uh, darshana mala <clears throat> it was dictated to vidyananda swami so guru was giving uh, that dictation for many days after some time he asked uh, vidyananda swami to count how many verses are there he counted exactly it was 100 so then guru himself edited and classified that into 10 poem each and he has named uh, in 10 darshanas like adhyara bhavada bhana maya asatya like that 10 darshanas turned into 10 100 verse of darshana mala <clears throat> and guru was very particular about uh, his poems or his work should not be manipulated this was a tradition of many of many gurus like even shankara also that's why he named his uh, works like panjaga nirvrudhi panjaga ashtaga vinayaka ashtaga vas vasudeva ashtaga devadashaga atma upadesha shataga shiva shataga so that means nobody can add anything later in many of our great epics and other um, works philosophical works there, are, there there could be adulterations additions people with vested interest so that's why guru was very particular even shankaracharya was like that atmopadeshataka <clears throat> initially there were 114 verses then guru again edited without losing its original um, content and made it 100 and then renamed as atmopadeshataka so we were talking about dictating uh, the 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 poems there are so many interesting uh, stories uh, the way he used to write so i told you about the, the uh, 
Janani Navaratna Manjari. <clears throat> How he dictated that great work, Stotra Kriti. <clears throat> and there is another Kriti called the Soanuphava Giti. This Guru dictated to his uh, Grigastha Shishya. Guru had great uh, Grigastha Shishyas called Kariva Krishna Nasha. He is also known as Erath Krishna Nasha. He was a disciple of both Sri Chattami Swamigal as well as Narayana Guru. He was a dear disciple of Chattami Swamigal because he used to, he was a great orator. He used to go across Kerala and used to talk about Krishna Mata Chedana because that time there was a big movement happening, uh, the conversion of people, especially from the lower caste to Christianity. So this Krishna Nashan used to go and like a pastor, uh, go to public and he used to talk about uh, this Krishna Mata Chedana. <clears throat> so he was a great orator. So this Swanifa Gidi dictated to Kariva Krishna Nasha. <clears throat> he wrote down, there were 100 verses in a notebook. Later, Krishna Nasha, with a great surprise, he found certain pages were missing. <clears throat> he could not find. He went to Guru apologetically, told him this is what happened. These um, verses are missing. <clears throat> the answer Guru given to Krishna Ashan says it all. What kind of poet he was. <clears throat> Guru said, the person who wrote those verses are not here. Now you are seeing a different person. And another person completing it also is not appropriate. This was his reply to Krishna Nasha. Still, if you look at Swanifav Gidi, the verses number 41 to 80 are missing. <clears throat> so, for a poet, writing a poem is like a delivering a baby. After that, he doesn't have any role. He may not even remember. So you may be wondering, Narayana Guru with great abilities, how can he forget his own poem? <clears throat> In earlier times, all our great works like Upanishad, Vedas, everything came through Why Muri? <clears throat> from the Guru, Shishyas used to by heart, then it is passed on to Shishya Parampara like that. How can, you, how can Guru forget? Here there is an interesting, maybe a little different uh, story. I don't know whether you must have heard about Shakti Badra. <clears throat> Shakti Badra was a great Sanskrit poet from Kerala. Kerala also contributed great things to Sanskrit literature and one of the greatest person was Shakti Badra. Shakti Badra belongs to Kudaman village in Patanandita. <clears throat> he is the author of famous Kriti Asharya Chudamani. <clears throat> he was a contemporary of Sri Shankarajarya. After writing Ashari Chudamani, he thought before publishing, publishing it, I should show this to Sangara Bhavad Padar. <clears throat> so he waited for some time, then he came to know that Sangarajarya is coming somewhere near to his village. So he went there, Sangarajarya was seated in, on a pedestal. He went and sat and he has given his pranams, respect, and other things. Then he told, This is my work, he started reading it. Shankarajarya heard it very quietly from the beginning till end. <clears throat> After that, he didn't even utter a word. Shakti Padra was expecting some comments, appreciation or even criticism. 
He was ready to receive both, but he didn't receive anything. Shakti Padra was literally shattered. He was so disappointed. He went back home. What he did? He put all these palm leaves into fire. <clears throat> he was so disappointed. Shankaracharya did not even comment on my work. <clears throat> so he was shattered and uh, then finally he could adjust. But uh, he lost his uh, original work. After a few years, he came to know that uh, after a few years, Shankaracharya again traveled near to his village. So that time, Shankaracharya said, I would like to meet Shakti Badra. Somebody went and called Shakti Badra. Shakti Badra went to Shankaracharya. Then Shankaracharya started praising about Ashari Judamani. Shakti Badra really baffled. <clears throat> what is this? Shankaracharya had no words to praise <clears throat> Ashari Judamani. Then Shakti Badra said, Guru, I did like this. Now it is not there. <clears throat> so then Shankaracharya said, That day I was on Mauna Vruta. That's why I could not reply to or comment on that great work. Don't worry, you take some palm leaves. Shankaracharya dictated again the Ashari Chudamani to Shakti Badra, who is the original author. He forgot everything. Not even a simple stanza. So, others are like this. So, after the production, they are completely discharged from their, their work. <coughs> so, Narayana Guru, as a Rishi and a Kavi is difficult to approach in many areas, <clears throat> especially in his coining of words. A normal Kavi or author cannot coin such words. If you go deeper into his works, you will realize that. So first, we have to demystify this language of Narayana Guru for the real understanding of his works. So now, actually I have taken a lot of time by telling stories and other things. Now I'll come to the second roadblock. That is the most difficult one. The people like us, we are not Vedantis. But in his works, there are so many Vedanta terminologies are used. How will you be able to understand this? For example, if you are not having an accountancy background, you will not be knowing what is credit, debit, asset, liability, debt, equity, profit, loss, etc. <clears throat> you should have at least a crash course on finance for non-finance professionals. Then only you will be able to understand this. Similarly, in Guru's works, so many such terminologies are used which you are not used to it in your common life. The most important thing, thing is the Maya principle. Advaita is non-duality. So the principle of Maya you could see in all his works. Again, I'll start with another story. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you have heard about Kutipura Krishnabulla. Kutipura Krishnabulla was a great literary figure. He was a professor in UC College Aluva. He was a president of Kerala Sahitya Academy. 
he was a rationalist a multifaceted personality he was also an inmate of aluwa adwaita ashram <coughs> he was a teacher there in the sanskrit school <coughs> so he was again he is a rationalist like mithavadi krishnan savodana ayappan at the same time he was a disciple of narayana guru as well that is the wonderful thing about narayana guru <coughs> both astika and nastika were his disciples <coughs> so kutipura krishna pulla used to stay in ashram one day guru was there one of this morning guru was sitting at the veranda facing the aluwa river with a great hes- hesitance he went to guru <coughs> he was alone he was looking at the ceiling <coughs> on a reclining chair he was lying <coughs> kutipura krishna pulla asked guru can you explain about the jagat mithya vada <coughs> arana guru slowly turned his face to kutipura then told show his finger can you see that house at the distance maybe i don't know whether it was across the river <coughs> Krishna Mala said, "Yes. What is that?" He said, "It is a house. But if you demolish it, what it will be?" Krishna Mala said, "It will be just a bricks and uh, wood." <coughs> so then Guru asked, "So it is a house, or it is a bricks and woods?" So it is bricks and woods. So whether house was there? or bricks and woods were there stavula said bricks and woods were there so house was not there right this was the question to kutipura <clears throat> he understood ah. then after guru was of very less words <clears throat> based on this he has written an essay in one of the magazines of that time and later some other disciple has shown this article to guru guru was very impressed and called krishna pulla and told krishna pulla i thought you do you, you don't know anything that's why i explained so uh, took lo- a long time and explaining to he, you about that house but reading this article i understand that you know a lot of things about uh, jagant vidya vad <clears throat> so guru used this maya then he says the whole world is like a natakam <clears throat> natakam nikhilav <clears throat> drama we are only the actors in that drama <clears throat> he again he use certain terminologies like tripudi karu samsara sagara this all can create confusion in the minds of the common readers tripudi in many of his works you could see the usage of tripudi tripudi again understanding what is the mean, literally meaning of the tripudi means kudam means petal <coughs> tripudi means three petals laalichu petal adai anpodu shaishavathil paalichu pallava pudangalil vechu ninne 
ആലോല വായു ചേർന്ന് തൊട്ടിലാക്കി സോ പുടം മീൻസ് പെറ്റൽ പുടി മീൻസ് ത്രിപുടി മീൻസ് ത്രീ പെറ്റൽസ് സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദീസ് ത്രീ പെറ്റൽസ് സപ്പോസ് യു ആർ സീയിങ് സംതിങ് ദർ ഷുഡ് ബി എൻ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ആൻഡ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ടു സി and that the process of seeing itself that kalcha itself so these are the three aspects of triputi when guru say triputi mudinya means you overcome this triputi then you are out of this maya <clears throat> so many of his works you could see the usage of triputi he also use many analogies like wave and water rope and snake pot and earth ornament and gold cloth and cotton so basically guru wanted to say that the wave in the sea is nothing but but water in janani navaratna manjari again he has beautifully described this in one of the verses the fourth verse arayugil tiragal neeraidum പണിനാരായിടുന്നു കുടവും പാരായിടുന്നതിനു നേരായിടുന്നു ലക മോരാകിലുണ്ടകിലവും വേരായ നിൻ കഴലിലാരാധനം തരണം ആരാലിതിനൊരു വരം നേരായി വന്നിടുക properly. you will understand this verbs are only water fani narayidunu there is again a vedanta principle when you discuss about the maya vadam if you see a rope in a very maybe uh, a place where there is no proper light initially you may have an illusion like a snake when you bring light you will realize it was not a snake it was only a rope kudavum paraayidunu and a terracotta pot that is nothing but earth so these analogies again understanding it in a proper sense is another challenge you know initially narayana gurus works were taken into a global platform was by his own direct disciple nataraja guru narayana guru sent him to sorbonne university for higher studies so still nataraja gurus works are the most difficult works to understand like the metaphor john spears used the mountain it is at the top of the mountain <clears throat> so there is a reason for it for nadraj guru it was a big challenge to present a mystic saint who lived in a small principality of large british india southern corner of uh 
that British India, who wrote his major works in vernacular and Sanskrit languages. Presenting him in the global platform was a big challenge took by Nadraja Guru. So Nadraja Guru gathered all information. He did comparisons with his contemporaries like metaphysicist Henry Bergson, then philosophers like Kant, Spinoza, <clears throat> so many other people. So when you read uh, Nadraja Guru's books to understand Narayana Guru, you will find the entire philosophy, philosophers, their views, Western, Eastern, everything in his book. So it was required at that time to present Narayana Guru in a global platform. He has written his magnum opus, the, uh, his uh, commentary on Darshanamala, the integrated science of absolute. He told this book is not for everybody. You print only few copies. Whoever wanted these copies, they will come in search for this and take it. This is not for the common people. After writing all these great books, still we find it difficult to understand as many of his works. We may sometimes feel that Nataraja Guru further complicated Guru's, Narayana Guru's works by bringing in all these philosophers and their thoughts and other things. It is not correct. <clears throat> but it was required at that time. After doing all these things, after traveling all over the world, towards end, he told his disciples in Malayalam, <clears throat> I have studied all these philosophers around the world. But he Tiruvandguru and the Varayana, Cheriya Rajyath, one Natam Bharata Garna Pole, Otta Mundum, one Thortu Modi Narana, one Mupilan, Paranya Dil Adiya Mundum, Ever Ayam Paranya Tilla. That was Nadraja Guru's comment. So he said, all these world philosophers have not said anything more than a simple villager who wear one mundu and one tortu, two-piece clothing, and who lived in a small place. They have not written or spoken anything greater than Narayana Guru. That was the realization of Nataraja Guru. So, we have to clearly understand, there are, I am not going into deep, uh, deeper, uh, but uh, I have uh, made some notes, maybe quickly I have gone, go through uh, those uh, terminologies, maybe we can, uh, you yourself can find out uh, such things. So Narayana Guru always used to uh, describe uh, this God or Absolute or Parabrahma as Truth or Arub. <clears throat> then he always talk about Dhamma and Rupa, <clears throat> Karya and Karana, Sat and Asat, Vidya, Avidya, Para, Apara. In uh, Atma Upadesh Adagam itself, you will uh, hear all these terminologies. <clears throat> Para Yuda Pal Dugarna Bhagyavan Marko Rupadina Ira Mando Dalpanera. <clears throat> Sama and Anya, again a favorite uh, terminology of Narayana Guru. Two facets of Aruva. 
समा अंडानिया समा शोस द सेम ट्रूथ अ वेरी वेल बट अन्या शोस डिफरेंस सिनेरियोस ऑफ सेम ट्रूथ सो नारायण गुरु used to use this terminology is quite often <clears throat> so find out these terminologies and understand its correct perspectives like karu samsara sagara again in the devadashakam itself navigan ni pavartikyo ravivantoni din padam so the ocean of sorrow the ocean of phenomenalities <clears throat> punarapi jananam punarapi maranam so that in that ocean we are all struggling to cross that ocean where the god's pada name or his feet is like a big steam vessel <clears throat> so i think i am crossing the time so i will uh, for the time being uh, i will end here by singing a small uh, nursery rhyme written by mahakavi kumaranashan how to show that how the poems we started with poem how, how it is difficult how it is complicated how a she write poem how it can be complicated this is taken from his collection of pushpavadi the title is kuttiyum tallayum i am not going to read everything but some lines i'll read ivalliyil ninnu chemme pookal मेलकुमेलिंगीव पोंगी पंगी अयो बोकूरे कमे वैयाो मेनी अदर थिंग अगेन द कुटी सास्किंग टाइम द मदर इज से फिलोसफीस even after reading this nursery rhyme so then you can imagine about the meanings of irshi kavi narayana guru swats thank you <coughs> om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudasya de purnasya purnamadaya पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शांति 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 ई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मैडम जेजा हरि सिंह एंड ऑल मेंबर्स एंड फ्रेंड्स ऑफ गुरु अनुग्रह ग्रुप जॉइन दिस मीटिंग एंड पेशेंटली हर्ड माय टॉक थैंक यू thank you very much you. mr dilip kumar it was really really wonderful you handheld us through many many stories and uh, you know we didn't realize how the time passed i just would like to ask a small question before venu ravindran takes over the hosting um uh, you you talked about uh, um natraj guru guru natraja writing about uh, 
you know, comparing uh, the Western philosophers and Sri Narayana Guru. Um, you talked about Spinoza. Can you just uh, just pinpoint just that that comparison? I just was very curious because I've read about I read Spinoza quite a bit, so that's why I thought let me just ask you. Uh, unfortunately, I am not an expert on uh, Spinoza. I also have only a very very limited knowledge about him. He was a Dutch philosopher, Barucha Spinoza. Yeah. Uh, he has talked about the theories of enlightenment and other things, yeah. Yeah. which is very very close to our Indian uh, way of philosophy. Uh, but uh, currently, I am not able to give you any further details. Uh, that is maybe my limitation. On that's that. fine. That's fine. That's yeah, yeah. fine. Yes, Venu, please. Yes. Sir, uh, you can manage I'm, the questions. Questions yes, and yeah. answers. Oh, sure, 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 sure. So, Sir Grip, sir, it was really amazing. And we didn't, as ma'am said, we didn't know or we didn't realize the time passed away so fast. So it was really, you had really taken us into the insight. So definitely we'll open up for questions. Uh, so sharing my learning experiences. So similarly, it cannot be a question. They can also share such experiences while learning uh, Narayana Guru's works. That's also fine. That will further enrich uh, this forum. <coughs> true, 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 true. Yes, sir. Ponapan, sir. Dilip, sir, I am thankful to you for explaining the things. Yeah. See, now... I have a doubt. In Deva Dasyam, during my childhood, my mother has taught in the fifth stanza, Niyalo Sustiyam Sartavayam, Sartav, not Susti. Okay. In some places I have seen people used to say Sustiyam Sartavayam. Okay. Which is the correct one. I taught, I learned Sartav in, during my childhood. Okay. My mother has taught me like that. Okay. I am I am actually opening uh, uh, the Devada Shagam, uh, the Muni Narayana Prasad's uh, uh, book. Just Srashtava, not Srashtava. 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 Yes. That is correct. Uh, Srashtava is it means the order of the srishti is called srashtav so the srashtav is the very suitable name here yes. the order of srishti is called srashtav that is why srishtiyum srashtavaya yellow srishtiyum srashtavaya the order of the srishti is called srashtav Absolutely. But in the childhood, we have learned as a srishta, oh, so that is yeah. um, made an intent in our brain. So it is very difficult to change from srishta <laughs> to srashta. That is the problem. But today, you have the speaker has emphasized on the illusion. So the guru, uh, I agree with totally that the guru has uh, acted here in this uh, universal drama that is called illusion maya nadaga so guru has introduced as a host everything see when we see a kathakali dance performance we come in between with uh, wearing a new dress the new dress is our human body and he, we are watching the drama the illusion maya nadaga so we didn't understand who is acting here. So that in the drama of uh, uh, this Kathakali, there is a Vesham uh, of a dog, God, Krishna, Arjuna, or Panchali and all. But we don't know who is acting. So be, behind these actors, we can see everyone is the human being. The Manushyan was there. Now you just reverse it. Instead of that, behind the Arjun uh, God, you can see the um, some uh, go in the pillar when introducing. But if you reverse it, Guru has introduced everything you see behind that only one Paramatma. So that is an illusion. So he, he relieved us from the illusion. Guru has done the, such a great job. So you have emphasis here about the illusion, many, many stories. Thank you very much. For Shaji, yeah. Shaji. Yeah, yeah, Shaji, please go. Yeah. Uh, sir, I have two questions. Uh, one, uh, 
related to tripudi and uh, karu uh, the two terminologies uh, you mentioned can you just uh, explain a little more on that tripudi and karu then second one is in gadya prarthana we have a, a wording like unilum uh, urakkathilum is it unilum uh, urakkathilum or unarvilum urakkathilum okay uh, first uh, two things i will explain tripudi <clears throat> um, the i told you the three objects the person it can be come by uh, you, you you can uh, you can relate it to uh, seeing an object or hearing a sound or touching something or tasting something all our sensory organs you can relate it to the tripudi uh, concept so a person who is experiencing is on part an object or a sound or a um, maybe a particular uh, thing uh, which is creating that feeling then that feeling itself so this is tripudi so you have to get out of uh, this tripudi so this tripudi mudinja uh, then you will come to uh, you are actually uh, getting out of this tripudi and you are going to the turiya uh, avastha so uh, that is ultimate aim so that's why uh, guru uh, is saying tripudi mudinya tripuvana sima tandi like that so what is uh, ultimately uh, the thing first we will search for knowledge outside so then you will realize there are millions of nama rupas or tribudis in the universe <clears throat> so you will not be able to understand fully onna enni enni totannum porul odungiyal will it odungum it is humanly not possible <clears throat> so odungiyal then ninnidum drishti there your drishti will stop <clears throat> similarly then you are you realize it is not outside then you will focus inside <clears throat> when you focus inside you will realize you yourself is that knowledge so mahamadi so in the in the onnaya mahamadil nin aayiram tripudi in in generally navaratna manjari it is say so this is how can i can i add can i add on tripudi yeah, yeah. Uh, i i feel i have another version also regarding sure. this tripudi i am not well uh, conversant with all the kridis kridis of the guru in gita yeah. it has uh, mentioned about that three gunas prakriti is full, fully of three gunas sat raj tamo okay so when we overcome these three gunas so we achieve the god <laughs> we will be Or we overcome the illusion. That is okay. what. The gunas are not the illusions, but uh, here Narayana Guru. Not uh, gunas, not illusion. Uh, When we overcome yeah. these three gunas, sad guna or rajo or tamo, these three gunas, mm -hmm. then uh, we do not addict. We will not be addicted. We will be relieved from the mahas and everything. Uh, but That Narayana, is the position we have to achieve. That's what I feel. Uh, Narayana Guru uh, mentioned uh, in uh, not in that uh, guna uh, form. Uh, and maybe not, maybe just uh, yeah. I just uh, related yeah, yeah. with that. Okay. 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 And um, Karu again uh, again uh, you can say that the great uh, consciousness, uh, uh, the the uh, param. karu karu means uh, the, uh, the the core of uh, wisdom so karu vinu kannugal anju mulla kittiru dare veenu vanangi odidayana atma udeshara kanthi se so guru is using uh, separate terminologies to uh, express the param puru uh, so here it is used as a karu <coughs> about gatya prarthana i have to refer actually i am not able to off hand tell you uh, about that thank you dilip sir good morning morning natarajan thank you uh, that was uh, i don't know uh, we were sitting in front of uh, abundance of knowledge you know that's what i experienced i know that enik adil or samshayam vannathu adu nerthe sir enda sambhashana kettulladana 
പൊന്നായം ആർ മതിയിൽ നിന്നായിരം ത്രിപടി വന്നാശ് തൻ മതി മറന്ന് അത് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ അത് അന്നം ആകുന്നതിന്റെ ഒരു കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് അന്നാദിയിൽ പ്രിയമുടർന്ന് പ്രിയമുയർന്ന് ഭൗതിക സുഖങ്ങളിൽ ആ ആസക്തി ഏറും ആടലിന്റെ കടലിൽ വീണു പോകുമെന്നാണോ ഒരു ഉദ്ദേശിച്ചത് അതെ യോജിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അന്നം ഭക്ഷണം എന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മള് ഭക്ഷണത്തിലും അധികോതി പാടില്ല ആവശ്യത്തിനുള്ളത് കഴിക്കാൻ പാടുള്ളൂ എന്നുള്ള ഇതിന്റെ എല്ലാം പ്രതീകമായിട്ടാണ് ഗുരു അന്നം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് നമ്മള് ഭക്ഷണം മാറ്റിയെടുക്കേണ്ട ഭൗതികമായിട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാ സുഖങ്ങളെയും ഭോഗങ്ങളെയും അവിടെ നമുക്ക് ആരോപിക്കാം ഓക്കെ അതുപോലെ തന്നെയാണ് സാറത് വളരെ വ്യക്തമായിട്ട് പറയുകയും ചെയ്തു മറ്റ് ഒരു വാക്കിലും കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ ഒരു കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ മനസ്സിൽ നിന്ന് വിട്ടുപോയി പലപ്പോഴും തെറ്റായി ഉച്ചരിക്കപ്പെടുകയും വ്യാഖ്യാനിക്കപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്ത പല എന്നുള്ളിൽ എന്നുള്ളിൽ ഞാനാണ് പറഞ്ഞത് എന്നുള്ളിൽ എന്ന വാക്ക് നീയും എന്നുള്ളിൽ ആവണമെന്നാണോ നീയും എന്നുള്ളിൽ ആവണമെന്നാണോ ഇത് ഇതുപോലെ എന്നെ അതിശയപ്പെടുത്തിയത് ഇവിടെ ഭഗവത്ഗീതയുടെ വലിയൊരു സന്യാസി സ്വാമിജി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അദ്ദേഹം പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ഇന്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷൻ എന്നെ അതിശയിപ്പിച്ചോളുന്നു അന്നവസ്ത്രാദി മുട്ടാതെ തന്നുരക്ഷിച്ചു ഞങ്ങളെ ധന്യരാക്കുന്ന നീ ഒന്ന് അന്നവസ്ത്രാദി മുട്ടാതെ വിത്തൌട്ട് എനി സ്കേഴ്സിറ്റി മുട്ടാതെ മീൻസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് എനി സ്കേഴ്സിറ്റി യു ആർ ഗിവിംഗ് അസ് ദി അന്ന അന്നവസ്ത്ര ബട്ട് ഹി ഹാസ് മെൻഷൻ അന്നവസ്ത്രാദി മുട്ടാതെ മീൻസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് നോക്കിംഗ് യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് അന്ന അന്നവസ്ത്ര it must be given to you by the god direct <laughs> even uh, jesus christ uh, told us to mutt mutt vin thurakapadu here he said without even mutting uh, you will get anna and vastra so there are so many enninum oru mutt undavaru enninum oru mutt undavaru nammal poduve parayarundallo mutt means here scarcity yeah. not yeah. Yeah. Uh, the god's door daurlabhyam undagirathu ah yes yes പിന്നെ എന്ന് എന്ന് ഉള്ളിൽ ഉണ്ടാകണം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഉള്ളിൽ മനസ്സിലാകണം എന്നാണ് അവിടെ എന്ന് നാം മനസ്സിലാക്കണം എന്ന് ഉള്ളിൽ എന്നുള്ളത് ഹലോ ഡോക്ടർ പ്രദീപ് ഫ്രോം ഡോക്ടർ പ്രദീപ് യു ഹാറ്റ് ഹലോ നമസ്കാരം സർ എന്റെ ഒരു ഡൗട്ട് ത്രിപുടി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സാറ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തു കൂടെ എനിക്കൊന്ന് ക്ലാരിറ്റി കിട്ടണം ഞാനത് മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നത് നമ്മളുടെ നമ്മള് ഒരു കോൺഷ്യസ്നെസ്സില് ഒരു നമ്മള് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഉണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റിലും എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് അതാണല്ലോ ജീവിത നാടൻ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാനെന്തൊരു എന്ത് ഞാൻ എന്തൊരു ഒരു സബ്ജക്ട് മറ്റുള്ളതെല്ലാം ഓബ്ജക്ട്സ് ആണ് അപ്പം ഒരു ഒബ്സർവർ ഒരു ഒബ്സർവ്ഡ് ഉണ്ട് ഒബ്സർവ്ഡ് ഉണ്ട് ഒബ്സർവർ ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ദ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസിന്റെ ആൻഡ് ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഇത് മൂന്നും കൂടെ അല്ലേ ഈ ത്രിപുടി അദ്ദേഹം ഗുരുദേവൻ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന എനിക്ക് സംശയം തോന്നുകയാണ് സാറ് ഒന്ന് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഒന്നുകൂടെ ഇത് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ വ്യക്തമായി മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ താങ്കൾ പറഞ്ഞ വളരെ കറക്റ്റ് ആണ് അദ്വൈത ദീപികയില് നേരല്ല ദൃശ്യം അത് ദൃക്കിനെ നീക്കി നോക്കിൽ വേറല്ല വിശ്വം അറിയപ്പെടാൻ പ്രവാഹം കാര്യത്തിൽ നിൽപ്പതിഹ കാരണ സത്ത അന്യേ വേറല്ല ബീജി ലിപിപ്പ് വാരി അത്രേ ഇത് ദൃശ്യമാണ് നമ്മളിവിടെ വരുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ ദൃക്കിനെ നീക്കി നോക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിൽ വേറെല്ല വിശ്വം അറിവാം മരുവിൽ പ്രവാഹം ദീപികയിൽ പറയുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇതിന്റെ വേറൊരു കുറച്ചുകൂടെ അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ ആണ് അവിടെ നമ്മൾ കൂടുതൽ കൃതികൾ വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ കൂടുതൽ uh anybody else or uh, has anything to so can can you hear me this is wasant uh, yes sir hello yeah okay okay so it is uh, um uh, thank you very much uh dilip sir for uh, such a wonderful erudite talk it is uh, um it's very clear crystal clear like water so it's uh, thank you for that um this tripudi 
and Triguna, I think one should get confused about these two things. These are two different things, totally. And um, so the leap uh, was going in the right direction. And uh, so just to, to extend that thought, if I may, that it is what we, when we experience something, we have either an affinity or an aversion towards things, objects. So the idea is to, to overcome that and merge that, um, that priyam into the higher priyam, priyam in the higher self. So in order to do that, and this is all part of uh, the process of realization or process of knowing what absolute means or God means in, in each individual's consciousness. So in order to overcome that specific priya, affinity or aversion, one has to efface these three things the three petals and merge that into one so that you won't have a an identified affinity and that affinity becomes the ananda of the Sachidananda. So in order to get there, you have to overcome these three divisions of the knower, the uh, object of knowing, and the process of knowing, as uh, uh, Mr. Dilip said. So, just want to um, put a little more into that that thinking, just to extend, not to over uh, overset, but to extend that in my own way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Vasan. Thank you so much putting into right perspective. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Dilip. Really, really wonderful. Um, you really, really, you help us go very, very deep into the landscape of uh, uh, the philosophy of that Otta Mundo Udutta Pogunna Vaisayala Ittrayam Valya Gahanamaya philosophy Anna Paranyada Valada simple language Lanna Uru Pravishyongude Adishayamayit You know, you really, really explained everything and presented uh, that aspect and also the um, you know the in comparison to all the other western uh, philosophers of that time uh, there was nothing which uh, sri narayana guru had not mentioned which has been mentioned by uh, spinoza and the like you are mentioning that was as as co quoting uh, guru nadraja it is really really wonderful to hear that one had read about it but it is really wonderful to be reinforced and uh, to be in that energy, it is it gives gives me personally great joy and satisfaction. It's an honor that uh, we got to speak, uh, we got to listen to you today. Thank you very very much, and thank you very much, Vasant. In midnight, also you are just uh, staying up and uh, listening to. Uh, the lecture here and also taking part really wonderful thank you everybody for uh, you know making this uh, this lecture this lecture as well as the other lectures very very significant thank you venu for standing in and uh, and helping uh, to run this uh, lecture thank you yumna and thank you everybody really wonderful it's a small family uh, gathering kind of a thing but very, very significant. And let us keep it, keep it going. Thank you very much, everybody.